Right then, welcome party people to a unit testing stream for the Hunter and Beast DLC. Let's get this crazy shizzle underway. Let's make sure the camera is in the right place and everything is good. So welcome, let's do me welcomes. Welcome Adrian, Joe, Salty, Dartro. Put my music down. That's up. Theodore, Santiago, Eric, Xavier, Nina, Badgrunt, Guac, Theodore again. Chrysar, Sophie, Christopher Pansino, welcome. Welcome all of you good people. Are we, oh dear. Are we testing Gotrek and Felix? Okay, no. Because apparently I'm not supposed to have Gotrek and Felix and nobody else has them except me. So I'm kind of lucky, but I'm not allowed to show you any more Gotrek and Felix because I wasn't even meant to show you the first bit of Gotrek and Felix. But uh, for some reason I have them, so uh, just don't look at them. If we go on to a uh, custom battle, just don't look at them. They're not there. They don't. They're just not there. Okay. Good. Glad we got that out of the way. So, um, yeah, don't look at Gotrek and Felix because I'm not supposed to have them. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, I don't know how I have them. I don't know what's happened. None of the other YouTubers have them apparently. I assumed everyone did, so I just made my content thinking it was fine. There was nothing in the embargoes about not talking about Gotrek and Felix, so I thought, sweet, get to talk about them. No, not supposed to. <laughs> but uh, what can you do, eh? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Am I going to play Monster Hunter Iceborne? Probably not. At least not for a while. I did play, I did enjoy Monster Hunter for a while. But uh, I got maybe halfway through the game. I still got a lot of monsters to kill. Welcome Boris. Dylan. King KDI. I'm good, man. Uh, okay, so what we can do today... Obviously, we're going to do some testing in custom battles, mess around with the units. I could start a campaign of either Wolf Art, I nearly said Wolfric, um, do a Wolfric campaign. The monstrous shall be slain. They shall. Uh, or we can do, what's the other one? Akai. Where's the big man? He's down the other. Oracle Rock campaign. Got a cool voice. We'll give him that. No or the big man. He is a mighty beast. But maybe we'll come back to that later. Maybe we'll start a campaign later. But now we're going to do some testing. So my first question that I wanted to answer was who does more damage? Huntsman or handgunners? Because they're Huntsmen are a little bit more expensive. So we'll see what they can do. We're going to come back to a campaign. No more lizards, people. Is everyone doing lizards? What's everyone else doing right now? My voice is beautiful. My face is beautiful. I am beautiful. Well, thank you, Andre. That's very kind and inaccurate. But I appreciate it. Yeah, I played a bit of the Kai. I haven't played any Gore Rock. And uh, I've got a Gelt campaign going, but I'm not allowed to show you the Empire campaigns. So you can't do the, well, the other Empire campaigns, bar Wolfheart. But in a couple of days, we should be able to. So for now, I want to test who does more damage. Uh, handgunners or Huntsmen. Now, we need something to test on, so naturally a Dreadsaurian is a good call. Maybe not Nakai. <laughs> Need something slow. Let's take a slan and take all its stuff off. We're going to ignore the slan. Just so it gets left behind because it's slow. We're going to shoot it. We're going to see how much damage they can do. Maybe we'll net them so we get a bit of time to shoot. And we'll uh, do what we can do that way. Let's try this to start with. If this works. Do I stream on Twitch too? I kind of do, but I kind of also don't. I haven't for a while because I started doing this and I only really stream Total War at the moment. I plan to use Twitch as something to stream other games on. So if I want to play like a, a shooter or something, I'll play it on Twitch rather than on uh, YouTube. Just so I'm not subjecting 70,000 people to something they don't really want to watch uh, in my FPS games and stuff. They might not want to watch some will, but most won't probably. Okay, so what we're going to do... I'm going to use the light wizard. We're going to see how much damage 
Huntsman can do to a Saurian on its approach. And we're going to net it in place so they get a bit more time to fire so we can see how much damage they do. And then we're going to switch around and see what the handgunners do. So the Huntsman, no unit for the Empire, of course. They have bonus versus large on their missiles. So they should do good damage to it. Make sure they shoot the Saurian. They'll get underway. Missiles coming in on the big boy. Doing some good damage so far. Jeez. We'll use an upgraded net. Oh, we can't. We haven't got enough magic. Okay, we'll just use a non-upgraded net for now. So the missiles from the Dread Saurian are coming in on these two units, though. So they are going to lose men, potentially. There's some good damage. About a third of its health gone. The Slan's coming. Light Priest to the rescue. Still taking damage from both units. Nearly down to half health. Bear in mind it has about 14,000 health. But it still has 8,000 health left. We'll do it to the point of where it reaches them, which would be maybe now. Pause, and we've done... Got it down to 7,600 health. So, a good amount. A nice amount. Trying to keep up on chat here. Yeah, there are a lot of cost changes. I've had a few armies messed up already. Five units of Way Watchers legal in the Discord. Uh, I think so. Uh, oh no, three skirmisher units. You can only have three. Well, if we're following tournament rules, the latest tournament rules, I'm not sure what the old general skirmish rule, the Discord skirmish rules are. I have to check. We'll probably update them. We'll see. Uh, okay, so Huntsmen have done just over half health of the Saurian. So now we're going to restart, and we're going to do the same thing with hand gunners, and we're going to see who does more damage. They took down a good amount of HP very quickly. But the difference here is that handgunners have armor piercing. But of course they don't have the anti-large bonus. So which is more effective? The, the armor piercing or the anti-large bonus? That is going to be the real question. So they can use the full bit of their range. Should be okay. Okay, let them come in. Let him come into rain. Focus yes, fire. Don't run too far, lads. You don't need to run. We just slow this down while I read the chat. Watch the guns. But yeah, taking off 7,000 health in, what was that, maybe 30 seconds? There's a lot. Hang gunners. Oh, let's get the uh, wizard ready. Wizard net coming in. Please, there we go. Maybe a little bit closer than the uh, it was before. I'm not sure whether that really makes that much of a difference, but 8,000 health, 7,600 is what the huntsman did. That slant's going to be a dick. Don't let that slant do us. Got it down to 7,000. We're about to reach him and we'll say now, without the light wizard in the way. We've got him down to uh, 6,800, so about 1,000 more health, just under. So very even. So an interesting find, I'd say, because you've got pretty much the same damage output, a little better from the hand gunners, who cost less. But of course, they don't have Vanguard deployment, they don't have Stalk. Um, so it really depends what you want out of the missile unit. So are Huntsmen going to be useful or are they kind of obsolete because handgunners are better? That is going to be the question. Huntsmen are a little bit faster on their feet. 36 to the 33. So that could be that little bit useful for escaping some infantry. <clears throat> what else do we want to see? Give me some tests to do. What do you reckon? Man, chat is going quick.
and changes to crossbowmen work out. Um, but what changes were? What were the changes exactly? They're very similar to huntsmen. If you look at their stats, there you go. The only difference is their armor, leadership, speed, and melee attack. All things that don't really matter. Well, leadership and armor does matter, but um, speed and melee attack not so much for these units. But they're basically the same. But one has the anti-large bonus and stalk and vanguard deployment, and one costs 150 less. That's interesting. So I think if you have you if you have factions with large, well, with dangerous large like the Dreadsaurian or Shagoth or I guess Empire of Dragons, then maybe the anti-large is better. But then you could argue that maybe just the handguns are going to do the job. Lighter factions, like the Greenskins or Beastmen. I guess Huntsmen would be really good against Beastmen because they lack the armor generally. They can shoot the infantry and do them in, or shoot down the large. Crossbowmen now have AP. No, they fucking don't. Got six armor piercing damage. So still not a lot. Might be better than what they had before, I'm not sure. Shredder of Lustria versus Necrophoenix. Necrophoenix, that would be different. Uh, okay, let's try that, because one is anti-large and one is not. Do it on the Lizardman. Shredder of Lustria versus, what did he say? Necro Sphinx. Who is the best? Who's considered the best anti-large? Is it the Necro Sphinx? Who's the tough single monster anti-large? The Regiment of Renown one or the normal one? Bear in mind he still costs a lot less. I think he would lose, but... Akai versus Throg. Let me try that. Okay, let's try this the Regiment of Renown version. Dark Shards have 11? Really? I th thought they had more. Hmm. Interesting. Now, I think there's a... You can put the unit cap limit. I think they might be limited to one Dread Sword. Not sure. Check it a sec. Find out. I hope this Lord doesn't interfere, though. That's the trouble. Let's wait for him to come to us. And my lord can at least try and bait out. Lord. Yeah. Let those two fight. They're having a scrap. He slapped him. How big he is. Yeah, like you think this thing has always looked huge. And then it's just tiny compared to this beast. But, uh, so far, pretty even. Although, I guess the Necro Sphinx is winning because the Shredder has more health overall. My Skink Lord is getting beaten though. Try and run him away so he doesn't die too easily. Oh, there go. Better keep him on him otherwise he will interfere. Oh, Necro Sphinx taking, taking some... Oh, that was a big hit. Down to half health. The Lustria boy still hanging in there. Forget the Shredder has the missile attack as well, so this Sphinx is getting poisoned. That's always helping just that little bit as well. Oh, my Lord's gone. A pretty even fight, actually, but I think, I think the Shredder's... Shredder's edging it, but then he does cost, like, nearly two grand more. Oh, Sphinx is being an idiot. I think the, sh the Shredder was going to win it. But uh, there's certainly a lot of damage from the Necro Sphinx, considering how much the Shredder costs. That would be a cost-effective win for the Necro Sphinx. He's going to die. It did kind of run away briefly. Still done a lot of damage. So yeah, we're going to say the Shredder wins that one. <clears throat> what else should we test? What else should we test? By the toughest the men lord. There's a men. Oh look. Rock's got regeneration, so <clears throat> I think he might have the advantage. 
So yes, chill. Frostbite. Slow him down. <clears throat> we're like Throg. But I feel like Throg would win that because he has the anti-large bonus and regeneration. Empire Archer versus Bretonia Peasant Bowman. Oh yeah, I suppose uh, archers do suck. We'll try them out. Let's try that. We'll have Bretonian Rappy Archers, Peasant Bowman, at the cost of 400. Versus the Empire Archers, at 350. Mammoth versus Sword. Mammoth is a, Mammoths aren't anti large, are they? I don't think they would beat. Well, if the Necro Sphinx couldn't beat the Dreadsaurian, I don't think there's a lot of those. A lot of others that are going to have a chance. The so range advantage to the peasant bowmen. They've got 160, while the archers only have 120, so they've got a bit of running to do and getting shot while they run. But they are in a loose formation. They are quite spread out compared to the peasant bowmen, who are very tightly packed. This is, of course, worse when you're getting shot by missiles. So you never know. Peasant bowmen taking some fair bit of damage already. But whoa, the Peasant Bowman taking pretty much the equal amount of damage in one volley. Heading out. Stop, pretty even. Uh, oh, Peasant Bowman are going. They're wavering. They've still got half health through the archers. They've got more kills than the Peasant Bowman. 20 kills, 21 kills. There you go. They broke the Peasant Bowman. And they hung in there. Now we strike. It's their base leadership. I think it's more than the Peasant Bowman. But there you go. They beat Peasant Bowman at least. But they have to get that little bit closer. They've only got 50 leadership. As do the Peasant Bowman, I think. Oh, they've got 36 leadership. Wow, that's terrible. Didn't realize it was that low always been that low? I don't know. Yeah, I'm not supposed to have Gotrek and Felix, apparently. So, no, I can't show you any Gotrek and Felix. You can look at them. There. That's all you can do. I'm not allowed to use them. <clears throat> apparently. Somehow I've unlocked them, but I don't know how. But, you know, I can't complain. Uh, okay. One thing that is a bit of a shame is that there's no new Empire infantry. Not even a Regiment of Renown. The Caribou Greatswords that are in the campaign would be nice. There are loads of units that wouldn't have seen in the video that I put up just now. They're in the campaign, but they can only be used in the campaign. So, a bit of a shame they're not getting more. And you see Novakai versus Throgo. Let's do that then. Spirit of the Jungle. Do it. Let's throw down. I want to see how well a Saurian does against Phoenix Guard. We'll try that in a bit. Here we go. Throg versus Akai. Battle of the big boys. He is. <laughs> just does like a funny skill. Oh, Throg's down. Rock's dead already. One hit. One hit kill. He's got him. Oh no, he's, he's alright. He's regenerating. He's regenerating back to life. The Nakai with the first strike there, but Throg is going to regenerate. Going to be a long battle. Pretty much even in the damage, even though Throg is regenerating. There are abilities to use, but I won't use them unless Throg uses his. One of them gives plus 44 melee attack and physical resistance, so that could make a pretty big difference in this fight. Big hits from Throg, though. Can I play Empire Campaign? Not yet. Only uh, Marcus. I can play Marcus Campaign, but I can't play the reworks. Oh, headbutt. Oh, he's down again. He knocked him out with the headbutt. Go on, Nakai. This is your chance, mate. Kick him when he's down. Pretty even. He's having a roar instead of hitting him. Oh, we punched him. 
actually punches things. It'd be cool if they actually had some animations between each other. Why does he skip? Yes, he is a bit, maybe a little bit too skippy, but maybe that's what he does. That law thing. Oh, Nakai's getting beat down. Looks like Nakai's going downtown. He's had enough. He's fled. Throg is still the king. At least in this instance. Very close. Well, kind of close. Not very close. Throg's still got decent health. That regeneration, I think, made all the difference. If he didn't have that, he probably would have had about the same health as Nakai. So there you go. <clears throat> Let me test... Uh, the Saurian. Let's try just a Dread Saurian. Versus Phoenix Guard. Normal Phoenix Guard. One unit. One unit of normal Phoenix Guard. Let's take a Lord. Need someone who's not going to... We'll try the Crocs Core Ancient. Need someone who's not going to kill the enemy Lord too quickly, but also not die too easily. Let's see if infantry, let's see if the best of the best of anti-large infantry can do some work on a Dreadsaurian. I feel like they won't be able to. Try Gorak, Gorok, we'll try him out in a minute. We'll try him in a duel, who do you want to see Gorok fight? Try and lead the Lord out. Don't want the Lord to interfere, ideally. No, don't jump for the wrong targets. Okay, screw it. Good Saurian's going in. If we can lead the Lord out over here. Okay, in he comes to fight the Phoenix Guard. Probably a bit of a bro- Oh my god, they're everywhere. <laughs> it's probably a little bit of a broken test because the Phoenix Guard weren't bracing as they probably should have done, which they would do if you were in normal smart human player, but they're getting knocked all over the place. Not doing a ton of damage, but he's just knocking them around at the moment. That is stopping them from hurting him, though. Taking very little damage so far. Oh, my lord's in the way. Let's try and lead the lord off. The guy is kicking the crap out of the prince. Oh, it's not the guy. It's the ancient croc score, even. Try and lead the lord away. Staying on him. They're getting some damage on him, but only about 2,000 so far. They start to poke him, and then they just get knocked over. Phoenix Guard are down to half health. Saurian down a quarter. Korok versus Queek. Blood Knights, no, they have no chance. If the Phoenix Guard can't do it. I suppose the Blood Knights won't get knocked about as much, so maybe they would actually. Phoenix Guard are struggling though. Only a quarter of his health, maybe a sneak into a third. They're hanging in there. Not routed yet. Do have a little bit of encouragement from the Lord. But yeah, they're pretty much dead now. And they're wavering, they're broken. They did half health damage. And that was just Phoenix Guard. So... I don't know if that's cost effective or not. I guess not. The Dread Saurian doesn't cost that much more. Well, that one does actually. It's 3,200, so it's quite expensive. <clears throat> let's try uh, let's try Lord test. Uh, let's do Gorok versus who should Gorok fight? There are a couple of people say things. Weak. Weak a good test. The layers versus the Red Saurian. Oh. Uh, what did someone ask earlier that I was going to look at? I can't remember. Grimgore? Grimgore's a bit... Eh, these days. You want another tanky lord? Yes. Maybe Tyrion? Because he's tanky but not... Uh, regeneration tanky? Probably quite similar in stats. Or 
got the same melee defense. Tyrion's got a lot more damage output though. Warwick's actually kind of inferior. Tyrion costs a couple uh, extra hundred. Bold. I think a non-regenerating hero would be better. I feel like regenerating heroes have a huge advantage in a one-on-one. -on -one. Maybe Queek is the better choice. Where is he? Bit l costs a bit less than Gorok. That's why he's more of a damage dealer, while Gorok is more of a tank. Want another tank? Who's a tank? Dwarf Lords, I guess. Warrock's not large, is he? No. Belagar. Belagar's a bit of a tank. Doesn't have armor piercing, though. Lewin's got regeneration. Ryan? Ryan's more of an anti large dude. The tanky lords. Well, I suppose that's all the regeneration ones mostly. Marilyn Manson versus Charles Manson. I haven't got those DLCs yet. Sorry, bud. Ulrock does not have regen, no. He has these abilities increases leadership and melee attack, physical resistance and vigor. And your ground, and then his items. His armor for him and nearby units, and given ex expert charge defense. And then this one increases damage. <clears throat> okay, let's try Grimgore. It's probably the closest, although he's more of a damage dealer, Grimgore, but we'll try him out. Who's the best? Hellman, of course. <laughs> oh, that'll be a short fight. Poor old Hellman. Oh yeah, I suppose Throg is the test, because he's, he's the king. But I think, although he won't have his anti-large bonus against uh, Gorok, I suppose. We'll try Grimgore for now. He's pretty cool. He doesn't have any mount options, so he's only ever going to be on foot. Got a cool voice. Kolek, I feel like Kolek would just knock him around everywhere. Oh, he's using wah. That's just cheeky. We'll use uh, standard ground. Oh. Came out the funny camera. Oh, Grimgore's doing some work. Got more health. Grimgore, I think. Take stab. Losing it right now. Grimgore's doing okay. He just can't get the damage on Grimgore. Don't know why. He's got 450 weapon strength. There we go. There we go. A couple of slaps in. Bear in mind, I think Grimgore costs a fair bit more than Gorok does. But no one has a Dread Saurian mount. No, they don't. That would make them cost absolute ridiculous amounts. Saurian versus Blood Knights. We can do that. Yeah. All rock, cool. We turn it around. Back to half, half and half. Speed this up. See what we get. Grimgore's going to break. Grimgore. Grimgore went down. I think Gorok took it. Gor oh no, it close to feet. Gorok lost it. Grimgore apparently has that much health. Sure, well, that's true. Two seconds. 
Ninja Hun got a key today. Sweet. I finally have somebody to play against. Uh, okay, cool. So, Gore Rock. Eat crap out of Grimgore. Send in that message like three times. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's try Blood Knights. Well, actually, let's test some... We've done a lot of Lizardmen stuff. Let's do some Empire stuff. Test some more Empire bits for a minute. Let's try some War Wagons. Which does more damage from stationary? The Hellblaster Volley Gun or the Wagon? What should we test it on? Test it on some infantry. We will test it on some infantry and a lard. Let's try. Got the green skin here. Black Orc. Doing a one unit of Black Orcs. And a giant. We'll do two separate tests. Let's try that. I think Grimgore used Y in the end. He probably did, the cheeky bastard. <clears throat> Welcome, Wing Knight. Okay. So let's see which one does more damage from stationary. About the same range. Uh, the actual Hell Blaster has a little bit better range. So we'll be able to fire a little bit early. Let's turn it and angle it a little bit. Shoot the Black Hawks first. Get that off fire at will. Okay. I'm going to use the actual Hell Blaster to shoot. Blackhawks. Oh, they've hit done one volley and done that already. Taking a quarter of their health off in one volley. Brutal. Take the unit out at this rate. Black Orcs nearly going. One more volley, they got a turn. That's gonna slow them down. Oh, that volley hit nice though. But they got pretty much three quarters of their health off before they reached them. And let's see what the war wagon version could do. Why did the doors open when they could shoot over? Mm, yeah, that's a good point actually. I guess they can shoot over. <laughs> Not making logical points. Let's put it back again. And out of the way. Actually, let's put it near this one so they don't chase after it randomly. Okay. The so regular war wagon is going to shoot the Black Orcs. Oh, one volley, a third of their health. Two volleys, and nearly two thirds of their health. Three volleys and it's done as much as the regular one did before they even got anywhere fucking near it. Oh dear. That was hard. <laughs> okay, so the war wagon seems more effective. It does do more damage. 750 to 965. So, that's what it's coming down to. Let's try it on the giant. I imagine we'll have similar finds. I don't know why Ninja Hunter sent me the same message about 12 times. Can't even close this now. Oh, if he's sending it again. <laughs> I think he's just trying to be annoying now. I don't know whether his steam's broken or he's just trying to be annoying. I think, I think the latter. Okay, let's try it on the giant now. I'm going to block him in a minute. That giant down to half health, getting close. The giant, I guess in a way it's a smaller target, which you wouldn't think it would be, but it is. Those things are just bouncing off him. Giant, only a quarter of his health left. Might escape before the last volley comes off. He does, so about a quarter of his health. Okay, let's just try it with the regular one. Steam is currently bugging out. Okay, let's try it with 
I wanted to check the unit caps of the Saurian. That's what I wanted to do earlier. I forgot. Victory will be ours. Ready for war. Fire. gonna shoot the regular giant. The regiment of renown did three quarters of its health. Do what the normal one can do. It's got a bit more range, so it gets a bit more time to fire. So that may even out. Dagger in it a little bit. Got it down to half health. Oh, got it down nearly a third. About the same. There's still a quarter. And they've still got some distance to go. It's run out of range now. But that's very similar damage. That's interesting. So on the Black Hawks, the War Wagon was far superior at taking out the infantry. But when it came to the large, the Hell Blaster, the regular Hell Blaster, was seemingly superior. Because it still had more time to fire if he hadn't run off to the left. So uh, yeah. Curious. Curious. Those larger targets better for the war wagon maybe. <clears throat> war blaster war wagon is going to be sick. Yes it is. Um, What else have we got? We've got huntsmen. we got white wolves. So the white wolves are a bit of a weird one. Not entirely sure what they're going to be greatly useful for that you'd want to spend 900 on them. Because they have pretty much the same stuff as regular Huntsmen, just a little bit less missile damage. And then much better melee stats. But that's it. They also have an immunity to psychology and encourage. But I'm not sure how much use those are for a missile unit really. Other than maybe protecting from summons a little bit. Razorons versus Salamanders. Oh, that's a good one. <clears throat> that will be the one that I'm always banging on about. Uh, let me just try and catch up on the chat a little bit. I do apologize if I miss any messages. There's a lot going on. Gotcha, I could feel it. Yeah, they're not supposed to be in my game, but they've snuck in. So I got kind of lucky. <laughs> Ragnarok or Queen versus Saurian. What unit scale am I testing on? This is on large. At least it should be. How big are the units? 120? Sounds about right. Got me questioning it now. I feel like it's right. Now I'm questioning it. What am I looking for? Options. Unit size. Oh, ultra. Oh, I thought it was on large. There you go, look. So that changes things, because that can make a difference. Thanks for calling that out. Who have said that? Oh yeah, I don't know why it was on Ultra. I think I accidentally hit Recommended a while ago. And I quickly changed my stats back, but I must have forgotten to do that. Oh well, no bother. So that might change things a little bit. I'd be curious to see if the uh, same tests come out different now, but we won't do the same ones because we've already done. Uh, so what I did want to look at though was unit caps and how many Saurians one can bring. Is it one? I heard it was one, I think. Yeah, so only one Dread Saurian. You can see there, hopefully, the unit cap counts towards the following unit cap. Yeah, I got my words around the wrong way. The unit counts towards the following unit caps. Dread Saurian, zero of one. So you can only bring one. At least in, I guess, what will be quick play. And when you turn unit caps on in custom battles. But you can still have two other things. So you can still bring the engine of the gods. I mean, if you bring... How much is that going to cost? Let's see if we can build a realistic army with Shredder of Lustria in it. <laughs> so what do you do? What do you? What corners do you cut? Because you've only got 8,600 to spend now. I'd say you go cheap on the Lord. I mean, if you come in with the Shredder of Lustria, you probably want to go aggressive. So let's say we bring... Uh... I'm going to say the Croxagore Ancient. A full on melee, but I guess he's kind of expensive. So we go. Let's go super cheap then. Let's take a skink on. Skink on a horned one. He could maybe chase off and harass some missiles, which he might need. Um. But if you wanted to bring, say, a bunch of Saurus Warriors, 
Leaves you with 3,000. Wanted to bring... Carnosaur. Gonna be a small army, whichever way you slice it. A couple of chameleons. But then you could swap all these out for skinks. Red crested boys instead. Be a little bit cheaper. Gonna be interesting. Options, options. Kinda wish the main menu diff music was different for the background. That would be cool if they changed the music up a little bit. We have had the same music for, what, three years? <laughs> However long this game's out. Our Felix and Gotrek campaign heroes are also multiplayer. They are indeed in multiplayer, but not yet apparently, but I have them because I'm magic. I'm not supposed to, so don't look at them. <laughs> Lice land to buff the Saurian. That, that would be good, but he's far too expensive. He's 2,000, that life slant. Even if you take off... Take off all the non-healing spells. I'm down to 1700. Maybe lose a couple of other things. For the banishment. Gives you 2000 to play with. And you've got all this stuff. I guess there will be options to make it useful, but... If someone knows it's coming, they're just going to gun it down, so... Yeah, it's kind of difficult. Well, we don't know yet. I haven't really played multiplayer against anyone yet, so... Don't know. Okay. Okay, what should we do now? What else have we got? Any other tests? Someone wanted Thorns and Blood Knights. We'll take it in turns. We'll do a lizard men test and we'll do an Empire test. Let's do uh, what does somebody want to see? How about salamanders? And Razordons. Uh who can do more damage? Two. Let's bring it up a little. Somebody give me a unit. What should Salamanders and Razordons shoot at to see who's the best? Actually, we should take two things. We should take a large unit and an infantry. Give me an infantry on a faction. This guy. This fucking guy. <clears throat> great swords. Alright, we'll try great swords. Great swords are uh, the even ground, as they are the lesser stronger units. Okay, we'll bring one unit of great swords and then we don't have any single large with the Empire though. Maybe we'll test them on some Reichsguard. Try that. One unit of each. I'm not sure they're going to have time though. Razordons have pretty short range. We should have probably brought a Life Wizard so we could give them time to shoot. Though we don't have a Light Wizard. Or do we have a Light Wizard? No, we do on them. And don't we? I feel like both units are just going to charge at me. It's going to be awkward anyway. Um. Okay, let's take them off fire at will. See if we can make this work, but cavalry might interfere, so we might have to try it a different way. Razordons going after the great swords. I need a f I need a flying lord to fly these cavalry up. One volley coming in. Down about a tenth of their health. The right sky getting in the way. Gonna be blocking some shots. Yeah, this isn't a very good test. Let's uh, do this separately. Somebody's car alarm has been going off all day. On and off all day. Um, okay, let's get rid of... Doing one at a time. Bring a light slam. Who is that boy? Who flanks better, handguns or chat wagons? Um, Chad wagons, Chad wagon. <laughs> uh, okay, let's try Razordons first. Let's 
But against cavalry, they're not really going to have a lot of time. Cavalry is going to run up on them. I'm not sure this is going to be a fair test, but we'll try it on the infantry at least. One volley coming in. Does a bit more damage this time. They are in quite a deep formation though, so maybe that's factoring in. They don't have a lot of time. They got two volleys off. And a fair bit of damage. I suppose if you keep them moving, like if we do... Right, we've done our, maybe one more volley. Go on, let's go on, go on. One more volley. We got a little bit of one more volley off. But they've done about half health in two volleys. So now we can just run away. Set up again. Freeze that goddamn lord. So now they can just run away. So they can kite infantry pretty effectively. And do some good damage. They're firing at the lord now. Still hitting the great sword so. Let's try melee. See how they do in melee. How quickly do they take damage? They don't have a great deal of melee defense, only 29. Lords in there as well, though, messing things up a little bit. They're doing alright against great swords. They've not done a ton of, ton of damage in melee, though. Most of their health was gone before they reached them. Okay, so... Good damage at range. Provided they can keep moving. Let's try it with the salamanders now, though. See if they fare any better. Salamanders are explosive. They'll knock things around all over the place, which will slow them down. Maybe buy them more time to shoot them. Who knows? Salamanders, first shot coming in. How much damage does it do? Not quite as much as the Razodons. Maybe some of them missed. Not sure who's got the quicker reload time. Salamander's looking at how quickly that came in. Second volley. Not quite as effective as the uh, Razodons, maybe. Of course, Salamanders are anti-large. In their missile damage and not armor-piercing, so that factors in. Going to get two hits. Use that Lord, reposition, try and do what we did with the other one. Let them set up, and fire. Your explosive volley coming in. Got them down to about half health, so that's kind of the same performance as the Razodons. Because while they don't have armor-piercing damage like the Razodons, they do have more damage overall. They've got 106 with the Razodons. Oh, 97. Okay, that's gone up. It was like 60 something before. Okay, so that's why they did way more damage. I didn't even notice that. But yeah, Razodons a bit more viable now than they previously were. Did a lot of damage on that armor-piercing... on the uh, Well, on the heavy armor of the Great Swords. But the armor-piercing damage definitely seems more useful than it was in the first video I did a couple of days ago on the new units when I said, uh, they don't seem very good. So they've given some armor-piercing damage. Now they seem pretty sweet. Uh, let's try the war wagon. The regular war wagon out. Not sure what we can compare it to. Um... What could we test war wagon in comparison? Maybe some armor piercing skirmish cam? Such a thing exists. Beastmen. Of course, with great weapons. They're about the same price, actually. 
Wagon versus Steam Tank. I think the uh, Steam Tank would lose that one. Okay, let's try a uh, Throne Axe Beast Man, but we don't want to try it out on Throne Axe Beast We want to shoot some of said unit. But let's see how well they can damage some Vestigore herd. Got to find something with a similar price. Well, the first beast man can do the same. Okay, so let's see how well a war wagon takes down Bestigore herd, and then we'll see how well rowing axes take down Bestigore herd. I think that'll be all right. Outriders. I suppose that would be a good test, actually. Although outriders are a fair bit cheaper. War wagons with the handguns, able to shoot in all directions, able to skirmish away. It has the skirmish option, so you can just turn that on if you want. <clears throat> I mean, to be honest, it's going to kill the best of war. It's going to wear them out. But let's see how much damage it does. We started firing at about 59, 42 or something. See how much damage it does over a minute or so. Pretty slow damage. They will keep up said damage. 59. Too close, lads. Well, they're all grouping up now. It's just going to make it easy. The Lord's getting hammered. So are the best of all. So, in the space of about a minute and a half, they've done half health damage. Okay, we'll try that. We'll try that as a loose test. Now we want to play uh, as the Beastmen. The Great Weapon Centicle. No, not the Great Weapon Centicles. The Throwing Axe Centicles. Blink. <coughs> no, War Wagons are pretty good. But they're, they're slow damage, much like a skirmish cav. Skirmish cavs don't churn out damage quickly. They do the best from um, doing their damage over the course of an entire battle. So if you can keep them alive, they will have racked up tons of damage by the end of the battle. Because they can obviously skirmish away from danger. Throwing axes coming in. Bit of damage. Oh shit, they skirmish. I haven't put them on skirmish. Whoops. Really got them caught. And a bit of damage. But no, from what I've used of war, the that wall wagon that we just used in battles that I've played, they do wreck up the damage over time. But when you can get on that flank, you start shooting things in the back. Pretty rough. So how much time are we at? Minute and a half, which would be. It was about 58 12, I looked at it last time. Got a similar situation, they're all clumped up, so that's good. They're doing more damage, though. More damage in a short space of time. But there are more of them firing. There's 45 of them all throwing axes. It looks like the Centicles are doing a bit more damage, but I guess they're kind of a different unit. Kind of not. Because it is the same purpose. Um, <clears throat> okay, anything else anybody wants to see? We'll do a few more tests and then maybe we'll try some battles and test it. And uh, we'll do a little bit of a campaign, maybe. Grail Knight versus Dread Sauron. Alright, Saurian. Do the normal one. Let's Bretonia. Bretonia. Grail Knight. It's one unit. One unit's gonna get, I think. 
They don't even have armor piercing. I think they're gonna get fucking killed. Fucking killed. Welcome, Chris Franco. How good is Marcus Wolfhart so far? Maybe we could test him out. He can have a little uh, 1v1 with another ranged hero. Let's see if he's the boss. Are the units of the Empire Provinces going to be added to Multi 2? Not as far as I'm aware, unfortunately. In come the Grail Knights. Well, the Grail Knights or Cavalry won't at least get knocked around so much by the Saurian. I need to get that Lord out of there because he's going to ruin things. Here he comes. That lord, don't let him fight us. Don't let him fight my Saurian. So the Grail Knights pull him back. They've taken half health damage so far. They've done nearly a quarter of his health, I guess, although he's been hit a couple of times by the goddamn lord. That pissing lord's been a bell end. Turn around. Oh my god. So yeah, Dread Saurians have pretty big, wa like, Kind of long animations. Yeah, there you go. I think the Lord broke there, to be honest. Um, Dreadsaurians have long animations, so they can be a bit of a pain in the ass because you have to keep clicking the at order. Like, you press them to run over here, and they just don't do it because they're in the middle of an order, or in the middle of an attack, so then you have to keep pressing it again and again. So it does get a little bit tedious, to be honest. See you later, Just Shreves. Thanks for watching, buddy. Um, the Blood Knights have Pearson. I can't remember. No, they don't. They'll probably be a similar situation. Marcus versus Orion. All right, let's have a little bit of that a minute. Come back to some Saurian tests. Marcus Wolfhart. Got an amber bow magic missile. Leave that out for now, though. <clears throat> Right, <clears throat> Orion versus Marcus. <clears throat> Demigriffs might have a bit of a better hope, but I don't think there's any single cavalry that's going to take him down. It just depends how much damage they can do. Ready. Okay, here's the jewel. Let's see if Orion actually fires. Oh, yes. Very short range, actually. Missed. He's bloody missed. Not a good start, is it, Wolfheart? Can't miss your first shot. <laughs> yeah. A little bit of damage to that. Orion's just coming for him, to be honest. Orion doesn't want to play missile jewels. He's coming to fuck shit up. Okay, that plan's not really going to work, is it? I think Orion's going to beat the crap out of him in melee. Anybody know if this guy has a Twitch? Does anybody know? Anybody know if I have a Twitch? Somebody tell him. Okay, I'll do it. I do have a Twitch, but I don't use it much at the moment. I think I plan to use it for other games other than Total War, but Total War will always be streamed on the YouTubes, I think, just because that's where my audience is. Um, always switch around. Bring Marcus as the enemy. And Orion is me. Then I'm not going to charge into melee with him. Marcus versus Alith. What if I play Orion instead? You read my mind, my man. Read my mind. Orion! Orion! In theory, Marcus won't run up to us. But he's on his knees. Well, I think he just used his ability. Just conked us with his ability. Done a good bit of damage so far. Comes a Ryan returning the favor. Did a nice amount of damage also. But they're taking it in turns. A Ryan so far losing it. Oh, he's missed. Marcus has a, l a fair amount less health. Marcus is three for three though with the shots. He hasn't missed yet. Mark uh, Ryan just missed one. Oh, oh, got him in the fucking head. 
Oh, he's pissed. He is pissed. He's alright though. Oh, that one hit him as well. Didn't take his head off this time though. Can he get one back? I think he got him. Oh, that got him as well. There was blood. Literally just taking it in turns. They got him. <laughs> Who's losing? Oh, Orion's down to half health. Orion's missed again. Amateur. Marcus hasn't missed yet. Got him again. Bang in the heart. Orion, even though he's got way more health, taking a pounding. Though I think uh, he did use an ability on me, so let's return the favor. The bombardment. Oh, he doesn't have a magic missile. Mine then. Oh, he's down again. Oh, look at the size of that spear. That's a lengthy spear. What's Marcus doing? He's having a little shuffle. He's hurt his leg. He's hurt his leg. He's alright. Down to half health. Orion takes a hit again. I think Wolfheart's taking this. Comes another spear. Got him. Comes Wolfheart again. Bosh. Wolfheart. 100% accuracy right now. Oh, Orion's missed again. Oh, here comes the ability. You're going to finish him off. 720. Oh, it took him out. It fucking took him right out. He is proper dead. Damn. He had 720 health left, and that killed him. One shot. Marcus Wolfhart proving he is the superior archer there. That was a good little battle. Who knew? <clears throat> I already have got Trick and Phoenix. Yeah, I'm not supposed to have got Trick and Phoenix, apparently. The CA people were confused as to why and how I had got Trick and Phoenix. But I do. So, you know, sweet. I'm only allowed one got Trick and one Felix, though. Can't have two. But yeah, I'm not allowed to show you them anymore, other than... Stop looking at them. What are you doing? Ruining it right now. <clears throat> Boris throwing euros at me. Thank you, good sir. I appreciate your generosity, Mr. Boris. <clears throat> what else do we want to see? Dragon versus Saurian? I think the question is who can... Okay, let's, let's see which, which of the best anti-large cavalry can do the most damage to a Dread Saurian. Let's try that. Um... Let's bring the enemy with the Dreadsaurian. Give them a slow slan. Take all his spells off. They really need a button, so just just get rid of all spells. Save me some time. Okay, regular Dreadsaurian. And let's try out some Demigriffs to start with then. Oh, let's try the Altdorf Griffites. Some of the best of the best. I need a Fast Lord to distract that slan. Let's see how much damage. Who else should we test? The Old Dwarf Griffites, maybe the Fireborn. Blood Knights don't have armor piercing, so I'm not going to put them in a good place for this test because Grail Knights didn't have armor piercing and they didn't do a lot. So I think the Fire. I'm not sure if the Fireborn have armor piercing yet. Let's have a look. Really need that armor piercing against this thing, though. We'll let it come to us so uh, this land falls behind. Stick him with the slam. Do missile damage. Alright, get it. Get the bastard. I probably should have brought a white light wizard to get the slam in place. Try and distract. Right, so the Saurian isn't going to charge the Demigriffs, so that's kind of a stupid test. Oh, we'll see what they can do. Oh, hitting them in the face. They pretty much all got hit there. Oh my gosh. They're already down to half health and they've barely even been hit. Been hit like once. It doesn't even look like they're doing anything. Kill it! Stab it! Unless they surround it and all start poking him, they don't really do a lot. They're routing already, they've done it. Buckle! I think we're learning that cavalry just is not effective against this thing. It's just not worth it. Has a lot of money down the drain for very little damage. 
Saurian didn't even charge the Griffites first off, so. Griffites had the advantage, if anything. Fireborn, they're not armor piercing. Who is armor piercing? Maybe uh, Dark Hill? Knights of the Ebon Claw? They're armor piercing, but not anti dark. Old one knights are, but they're called one knights. Then that great. War boy biggins. Oh, only joking. They've got no fucking chair. Um, I don't think any of the chaos cavalry is armor piercing. Oh no, the chaos swords of chaos are, but there's only eighteen of them in a unit. So I don't think they've got. Um. Oh, you. Maybe I put some money on. Maybe I put a little bit of money on to do more damage than you might think. Sepulchral Stalkers. Let's try... Eyes of the Desert. Let's try something right now. I'm going to take that Light Wizard so we can freeze this land. I'm going to put some money on these boys. Not that much. They'll do better than the Demogriffs, I reckon, but... Hippogriff Knights. Hmm... So the beauty of sepulchral, sepulchral Stalkers is one, they have a missile attack and two, they have a charge defense. So that's very useful against horrible bastards like this. I could have Vanguard deployed them. Let's go after the priest. Let them fire. We're not going to charge. See, that did a fair bit of damage. One shot of that. Let's see what they can do. Well, they haven't taken as much damage as the Demigrips yet. And a half health. They're dying quickly, mind. Snake boys are not doing so well. Well, they've done more damage than the Griffites. And considering the Griffites cost way more, not too bad. But I think what the moral of the story here is that cavalry just is not good for taking down a Saurian. So if you take anything away from this stream, it'll be that. Don't try to use a cavalry to kill a Dredsaurian. Seems to be fucking pointless. Promethean versus a Saurian. Anti large, big fella. Not. Mammoth versus Saurus. Dorian. Whoa. What's going on here? Why is all the Empire stuff? They put monsters and beasts all together now? Weird. Look right. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be like that. I'm not sure whether that's a change or the bug. Is it like that for everybody? Look at the green skin. I see their monsters are still separate. So the monster. Yeah. Uh, what about the vampires? Those are all. Well, their monsters and trolls are all mixed in together. Not sure that's supposed to be like that. Whoopsie. Soul Crusher. Soul Crusher's anti-infantry, so I don't think he's going to do a lot. Carpetis. Okay, we can try him out. Who can hurt the goddamn Soria? I don't think this spell is going to be able to do it. By Jove, give it a go. Get the light slant again. Fat slant, fat slants.com. The regular Saurian, not even a shredder. Two carnosaurs versus a Saurian. Oh, can't have Lizardman killing Lizardman, can we? Anything else, any other tests people want to see, let me know. Maybe something without a Saurian. Maybe something with some Empire stuff. To be honest, most of the Empire units aren't that testable other than what we did earlier. We tested earlier and found that handgunners are more effective at killing large than huntsmen are. And they're cheaper. So, you know, there's something. 
Got the slam. Staying out of the way. Here he comes. Like how Bettis does have regeneration actually, doesn't it? So that's pretty big. Does it? I think it does. No, oh, maybe it doesn't. I guess it doesn't. I thought it did. Oh, the slant's coming in. Dirty fucking slant. At the moment, though, it's doing good damage. Hopefully my lord doesn't hit it. I don't know why it's turned around. Doing quite a fair bit of good damage, actually. Not taking too much itself. Charybdis doing the work. Doing work on this Dread Saurian. It's even on the health bars, but the Charybdis has done more damage technically. The Dread Saurian's got way more health. Is that Lord? They're fighting him there. Good. Got slap with the tail. Huntsman have better arc of fire. Yes. Still better versus unarmored. Well, I'm not so sure because some handguns will do just as well against unarmored. Speed this up. Hey, what? That slam is giving my lord run for his money. Oh, oh, oh! It's pretty close. Oh, Charybdis, can he do it? It's about the same health bars. A little bit more for the Dread Saurian. Oh, he's going to route before he gets there. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Came goddamn close though. Three quarters of his health. That's pretty good. Marcus versus a Lith. Is that what people want to see? Yeah, vampires struggle against large units, and that thing. Missiles, I think, are the most effective way to take a Saurian down, but of course, vampires. Screwed. Um, yeah. Terrorgeist might be able to do something, but. I don't think it'll do tons. Listing Croxicles. Uh, let's try Marcus against. Uh, is a Lith supposed to be a, a boss archer? Really know too much about a Lith. He doesn't have anywhere near the missile damage. Marcus has got 500 armor piercing missile damage. A Lith's only got 356. He does have way more range though, 300 range. Did not know he had that much range, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Maybe that extra time would give him the chance. Yeah, we tried it against the Sphinx, but I think the Charybdis did better than the Sphinx did. Um, what other single large monsters? Anti large single large monsters. The Help It? You reckon the Help It could do it? I don't reckon it could, it doesn't have much armor or melee defense. What did the Charybdis have? But everyone else doesn't. Got shitty melee defense as well. And not much help. Dragon Ogres. Mm. Shagoth. Let's try a Shagoth. Let's try a big Papa Shagoth. Pull the abilities off again. Um, um. The brigand? Why did I just get rid of that? I'd, oh, not thinking. I was away in my own head then. I was trying to think of a cool test to do. Uh, so we need him and we need the dread Saurian. Or to distract. Look. The poison helps, yeah, I think that's definitely true. And obviously the missile attack is constant damage. Yeah, story in two. And I guess in a full battle when there's other units around, they'd be shooting at other units when in this test they've only really got two things to shoot at. 
But let's see what a Dragon Ogre can do to a Saurian. Dragon Ogre gonna get smashed? We'll see. Wheels. Why don't I use a mod for testing? I just don't really use any mods. This is also a, a beta version of the game. It's not the normal version, so any mods probably won't work anyway. Done a little bit of damage, but he is taking it like a champ. Goddamn Slan's gonna get in the way though. Fucking Slan. Dick Slan. Stupid Dick Slan. Been smacking the Slan of it in this test. It's broken. Either way, I think he's getting smashed. He's not doing a great deal of damage to the Saurian. Not like the uh, Karif was. It has a bit of a missile resist. How much? 15 maybe? Yeah, 15 missile resistance. <coughs> Why are you spamming that? Are you looking to get yourself kicked out? <coughs> um. What else? Soul Crusher, you reckon? Alright. Give it a bash. Uh, we've got this. Just stop that goddamn bits. Ooh. Right, let's do it. Try and get the Marauder Chieftain to distract this dumbass slan. Come on, Marauder Chieftain. Okay. Who's it fighting? I'm taking dar damage. Saurus taking damage. Come here, you dickhead slan. There we go, we got him. Oh bro, he's doing fair damage. He's taking more he's given more damage than he's taken. He has good health as well. They're both at about 9,000 health, so maybe Soul Crush's health is coming into play. the worst of this. Doing good damage though. Not sure he's crushing the soul. Oh no, my lord got killed. <laughs> so the lord's going to get involved and ruin it now, but the mammoth was doing pretty well. And even though it's fighting the lord as well now, it's still got it down to a third health. So yeah, fair play. Soul Crusher gave it gave it a good run in. He probably would have done about the same as the Charybdis if that goddamn Slan hadn't got involved. But that was cool. Monstrous Infantry versus a Dread Sauron. No, I haven't. Let's do that real quick. Let's try the Fimir Warriors, shall we? The armor piercing or armor sundering anti large armor piercing Fimir motherfucking warrior. If anyone's going to take him down, it could be them. Um, I'm going to bring an extra hero to try and control that in Slan. working. Yeah, I think we're, we'll make this the last uh, Saurian test for now because we've done about five in a row. Carnosaur. I don't think the Carnosaur is going to do a lot. It'll be like most of these ones. Do you have access to Gotrick yet? 
Yes, I do, but I'm not allowed to test him because I'm not even supposed to have him, apparently. Goddamn thing, it keeps coming after it. would rather come after the Lord, for the hero than it would after the infantry. So, Vimy are going to get a bit of an unfair shot. They're going to come up behind it. Seems to be more interested going after the wolf. This land's actually staying out of the way, so we'll just stay out of the way. Vimy, huh? though, taking an absolute hammer in already. <laughs> The trouble is they all stand in the same place. If they surrounded it, you'd be way better off. How you doing? Sweet F.A. It's a no from them. Even with the advantage of charging them in the back, they still couldn't do a lot. <laughs> it's missiles, man. It's missiles all day. Brockgar on Carnosaur. Give this, give this guy one thing. Shuts up. Brockgar, on account or Grimlock. I assume you meant Grimlock. Against Beryl Dread Saurium. We need something to distract the Slan, though. That's fine because we can bring a Slan priest of our own. Light. <clears throat> they don't really get too fussy. It's not even my fault that I have them. It's their fault somehow. I don't. I didn't like unlock them or do anything to unlock them. They just were... Oh, for God's sake, you replaced my lord. What a dummy. I forgot he was a lord. Um, yeah, I didn't do anything to unlock them. I just happened to unlock them and no one else has for some reason. So it's a bit weird. But, uh, you know, I can't complain. <clears throat> yeah, let's try that again. With, let's get a skink priest on a pterodactyl. Dactyl, pterodon, whatever. Someone posted a video too early. We were supposed to only allowed to post at 5 o'clock today. Someone messed up and posted at 4, but they weren't really fussed. It was just a mistake. They happen. If someone was deliberately doing it, then it would be a different story. Like if a week ago I had started streaming this, showing you all the units before they were announced and things like that, then I'd be in fucking trouble. But I'm not a silly motherfucker. Doing that. As are most. Okay, let's slow this goddamn slam down. Okay, Brockgar versus Grimlock. I don't think it's going to amount to much. Tie up that slam, please. This slam does not give a shit. <laughs> but he's, oh, he's doing fair damage. He's doing some damage. This Babylon will be interesting. Shred like bar black butter. Why is he flying away now? He's supposed to be fighting the slan, you bonehead. He's putting up some damage, but. Gonna run away. Pretty much going to route away. Done good damage though, half health. A little bit of interference from the Lords. Hardly a completely fair test or anything, but... Still, he did work, but not as much as that Charybdis. Okay, maybe back to some Empire stuff. Any Empire things people want to see? Not sure what else we got to test. Uh, we got the Huntsman General. Actually, I'll tell you what we want to fucking test. Huntsman General, using his flame abilities with a couple of huntsmen. That will be interesting. I wanted to test that. I forgot about that. Let's see what he can do. Let's bring a light wizard. I'll just stop. Plan. So I'll explain this in a sec for those who don't know. Did I test the new chariots? I mean the war wagons? Done a little bit. Uh, okay, so huntsman general, for those who don't know, uh, it's a bunch of oh, a couple of abilities that work really goddamn well together. So first of all, he has the oil flask, applies 50 flame weakness and slows the target down. 
So he just covers them in oil, basically, which is, of course, very flammable. He can then give himself and nearby allies fire damage and reload skill. So then they can hammer that oily target, light him up, and they'll do tons of damage. That is the idea. So I want to see how effective that is. So first off, let's try it. Let's take him off fire at will. In range? That in range. So we'll see how much the Huntsmen do to it by themselves. Just without any fire damage. And then we'll see what difference that fire damage can make. We're going to net him as well to buy a bit of time. How much do I need to overcast this? 18. Get that slant as well. Get it when it gets a little bit closer. Doing good damage so far. I have to run a bit. So he's netted now. Let's see how much damage they do. Till they reach him. We'll give them till they reach him. They're not on skirmish, so they'll just stand there. Shot by the missiles. There we go. So when he reached them, reached them, got just under half health. That's without the fire damage. Let's see what he does with the fire damage. Let's see if the Huntsman General's abilities are worth... What am I doing? Are worth the money. <clears throat> Versus Sun Eater. I think he'll suffer the same fate as the Dragon Ogre Shagoth. Won't do a great deal. Uh, okay. So we'll have... We won't let... Uh, the Huntsman General fire on him though. We'll just keep the Huntsman firing at him. We'll only use the abilities for the Huntsman General. Look what they're ranging. 70 meters. Pretty close actually. How far 70 meters is in game? Okay, try anyway. Um, get that oil flask going. Oh, he has to be really close. Seems a bit funny that uh, like he can't fire the oil flask, really. Let's see if it makes a difference. Okay, oil flask away, but now he has to get back to be able to no use that. I'm not sure how long the oil flask lasts. Okay, we're going to work this way. Let's let him get closer and then we'll use it. And we'll see if that makes a difference. <clears throat> Didn't realize it had such, such a short range. Cetra versus Nakai. Cetra, uh, no, Nakai lost to Grim. Was it Grimgore? Who beat up Nakai earlier? No, Throg. Throg beat up him. He beat him up. Try this again. So we'll let these two shoot as normal. So they'll do similar damage as they did before. But when he gets close, we're going to net him. And then we're going to flask him. And then we're going to fire damage him and see if maybe they can finish him off. You never freaking know. Get a bit closer. A little bit closer. How close does he have to be for the oil flask? Nearly there, okay. There's net time. Go for the net. Go for the oil flask. Doing it, there it goes. In comes the fire damage. Go! Fire! Some good I can't remember how much damage it had before. What, just below half, wasn't it? There he goes. Free again. We've still got the fire damage and the reload skill. Oh, they're wavering it. They're wavering it. So there you go. It's done, done more damage. It's allowed them to get to a quarter of his health before he reached him. So, handy. That was with him netted, though. If they had more time to fire, they probably would have ripped him off pretty quick. <laughs> Glad to see you boys are keeping count of the health. So yeah, that was with just a short time firing. If that uh, Saurian was kind of fighting other things for a while over here, and those Huntsmen just had free reign to hammer it, they would get rid of it very quickly. <clears throat> so yeah, those fire abilities seem pretty cool. Any other Empire-related tests? 
I know people want to see a lot more Saurians. There's not too much exciting about the war wagon mortar. Pretty much just a mortar that can move around. This guy said Setra versus Nakai about 80 times, so we'll do it. We'll, we'll give it to him. Give him his Setra. I don't think he's going to have much hope. Uh, although, I don't think Nakai will maybe have much hope. We've seen Setra too much. I haven't seen him for a while. Setra versus Nakai. They have a similar price. Cetra has spells and things. In a one on one duel. Cetra is more anti large, although I suppose the guy is large. Let's find out. Huntsman versus Peasant Archer. Um, we found out that the Empire Archers beat Peasant Bowmen of Bretonia earlier. Good find, considering they're much cheaper. Whereabouts in the UK am I from? The Southwest. Southwest land. Oh. Cetra's <laughs> down. Cetra is looking perishable right now. Has a sell by date. Kai is dancing around all over the gap. Down in his face. Gipping away, off he goes. Knocking him on the ground all the time. Not doing a lot of damage though. And he's taking damage somehow. Barely even fight so far. Bit of a weird one. Popped cold blooded, that's cheating. The pop, nothing, no point. Fairly even though. Beating the crap out of Nakai. He does have that anti large bonus and armor piercing. Like he's gonna do him. He's done it. Etc. Even with Nakai using abilities, get the crap out of him. He is still imperishable. It's true after all. <coughs> Marcus versus a Lith. Who's supposed to be like the best archer in the Warhammer universe? Who is it? Don't say it's Orion, because we found out earlier that Orion is not the one. He missed a load of shots. Marcus took him down. <clears throat> Lady Hawkeyes versus Dread. What, her buff? How much damage does it do? Extra 22. Try with Hippogriff Knights. Pretty sure they're going to get the release lord. This is a Vava Lord. <laughs> Are they the best archers? I mean, they'll probably shred it fairly quickly. But then that's what they do. They have all the right tools to take down uh, a Saurian. Air damage. One of the really good armor piercing. They don't have anti large do they? Of course they don't. But they do have magic and fire. Beastie fire. Do you have any tips for dealing with quick play ranged cheats? Yep, what you do is you press this button that makes you do this. And it brings you back here. You just leave. Don't even bother. Don't waste your time with cheats. Find someone who's going to play properly. That's my advice. Was he talking about Godrex and Felix? Got who? I don't know who they are. What are you talking about? I don't even know who has Godrex and Felix. Don't tell anyone. I'm not supposed to. Razadon versus Cold Blood Feral. The Razadons are a bit more interesting now because they do have a lot more damage than they did in that video I made a couple of days ago. They've got 97 damage now. They only had 62 or something like that. But now they've got a lot more range damage. They're a lot more viable. I think people are learning, it, learning that if they just spam matchups that I'll just do them. Alright, let's try a Lith. Let's give it a bish. Marcus. Did I have to be... Should both be ready. Marcus. Alright. Let's see who wins this one then. So Lith has more range. Marcus has a lot more damage. I suppose a Lith could use his, use his cheeky ability. Place him way back so he can use his. So he won't be able to see Marcus. 
Marcus has stalled. That's pretty cheeky. There he is. Oh, he's already taken two shots. Or a shot, maybe one, maybe two. He's not even turned around. I've dropped him to attack. Here he goes. Finally. Yeah, Lith's just got no chance. Oh, he's knocked Marcus down. <laughs> Marcus is back up. He's taking damage, though. Giving it back. Oh, oh, oh. He keeps putting him on the ground. Find himself that... Oh, oh. Alith is going to do it. Is he? Is he? I think he did. Victory. Alith put him in the bin. Alith will lose. Oh, apparently not. Alith put him in the bin. Even though Alith had a bit of a disadvantage. Because Marcus was... Uh, Alith did win. Only just. He's got basically no health. I think they actually both kind of routed at the same time, but Marcus routed just that little bit sooner. Should we do that one again? Let's do that one again. I'm curious. Was well, that a fluke? Or was it was it a tie? Because I didn't quite because I was fast forwarding it, I didn't get the attack order off straight away, but he probably would have been firing straight away because uh Let's try it from closer so he doesn't have to find him so much. Oh, the ability coming straight out for Marcus. Cheeky. Alith could use his sneaky mislead ability, but he won't. Oh, that conked him in the face. But he's given one back. He's knocked Marcus down. <coughs> comes one from Wolfheart. Misses. Turned. I think that hit him. comes one from Wolfheart. Lands. Returned. Lands. Coming back again. Lands. <laughs> Another land. How are we doing for the health? Pretty even. Another one. Lands. Lands. Coming in again. Both down to about half health. Knocks him down again. Could give himself the advantage here. Always oh, done him again. Marcus firing back. This is surprising given that Marcus does way more damage. Oh no wait, a lift does 458. He did way less earlier, I'm sure it said less. Like a lot less. And what I was reading. If he gets a buff in battle. Gonna break him. Gonna break him. He's done it. Still got a little bit of health left. A Lithanar is the king of the bow. Who knew, eh? Four cannons focusing a slan. Um, I think we know how that one ends. Is there anyone who could defeat a Lithanar now? He's the king of the missiles. He's the king of the bob. I don't think anyone has... Ryan got beat down. Uh, I think the Glade Lords will have a chance if a Ryan didn't. I don't think there is, is there? Long range bow champs. Luther? Not that long range, is he? A 445, only 90 range though. Probably get shot up by the time he got to him. Probably get knocked over a couple of times. Okay, what should we try now? Go a little bit longer. I could either maybe do some battles, but they might be against the AI, unless Ninja Hunt's playing it. He's not. Um, or we can do a campaign. Yeah, if you use if Marcus' abilities were used better, we probably have the advantage. He probably could have used Focus Shot again in that time. Maybe I don't know. Maybe there wasn't enough time. Debating whether to buy Shogun 2? If you're interested in that period, I would say do it. Shogun 2 is damn good. 
Even though the units are all kind of the same for most factions, it's, it's still good because it's samurais, man. Samurais and ninjas. Kogan 2. Good one. Campaign. Nikai campaign. Campaign. I can either do a Wolfheart campaign or a Nikai campaign. Uh, I don't think they're Vortex ones, are they? I am oh no, Wolfheart, you can do uh, Vortex. So, could do Vortex. It'd probably be quicker turns than uh, Thingy. Nikai. Or Nikai. Or Gorok. Thought I didn't like the Shogun 2 ninjas. Why wouldn't I? When did I say that? Maybe I did? I don't know. I said a lot of things. I don't really remember everything I've said. <laughs> what did I say about this? Tony campaign? Okay, let's do that. My favourite. Where's... I can't even scroll. That's it. That's all the choices. Campaign Nakai seems to be the common choice. Is that not what everyone's doing at the moment? Gore Rock, Gore Rock. A couple of Gore Rock boys. Okay, say it now or forever hold your peace. Gore Rock or Nakai? I'm surprised nobody wants to see Marcus. Elites, gather. You know, at least he starts with some new. Marcus, Gore Rock or Nakai? Let's go. Say what you wish. Don't say more than once, though, please. Gee. Nakai, Nakai. Oh, let's go from the top. Look where I said it. Nakai, Wolfheart, Nakai. Gore Rock, Nakai. Nakai. <laughs> See a trend going here. Gore Rock, Nakai. Gore Rock, Nakai. Nakai, Gore Rock. See ya. Nakai, Gore Rock. Nakai, Nakai. Marcus, Nakai, Nakai. Marcus, Marcus, Gore Rock. Nakai, Marcus, Marcus, Marcus. Gore Rock. Gorok Marcus, Nakai, Nakai, Marcus, Marcus, Nakai, whatever. White Lizard. Oh, it's pretty close between, uh, I don't know, it's kind of between all of them. I think Nakai is the most common thing I'm saying. Carl Franz. I can't show the Empire reworks, unfortunately. So no Carl Franz just yet. We can try a couple. Why not? We've got a bit of time. We'll do Nakai to start with then. Uh, I'll skip the intro scenes. You can watch those for yourself. I'm sure you would rather. And obviously to save time. I think we're allowed to show them, but I won't show them anyway. We'll just dive in. Die for the new horde mechanic. <laughs> There's kids outside, but shut up. God damn. You go do that Andy up north. Have fun with that, buddy. I always used to play as the Yusuki with all the warrior monks. They're my boys. Or lizard speak anyway. Whatever. Will he make hordes good again? I'm not sure. This campaign uh, was under much scrutiny while it was uh, coming together. Hard to make work. They've got it there now. Okay, that's enough. That's enough to go. Okay, Spirit of the Jungle, how they play. Temples of the Old Ones. The success of the Old Ones' great plan hangs in the balance. Defeat foreign invaders and reclaim the Lizardmen's ancient lost cities, installing the Defenders of the Great Plan, that's their faction, as their rightful owners. The Defenders will maintain the Temple cities gifted to them. So we've got to take settlements and give them to the Defenders of the Gods, basically. Or Defenders of the Great Plan, rather. <clears throat> Devote yourself to an old one by constructing temples in their name. So it's kind of like the uh, Norska thing. 
Jungle Nexus. Nikai resides at the center of the Jungle Nexus and his ability to recruit units directly from the global recruitment pool to which he has personal access. Developing Nikai's recruitment buildings will enable other hordes in his faction to share in their progress. Warm Blood Invaders. Over the centuries, many have attempted to pillage illustrious temple cities for their great wealth. Kill all the invaders, basically. Okay. So starting over here in the jungles. Lustria. A little bit below where the lizard men normally start up there. So this looks like our obvious place to take. We'll maybe do a little bit in a Kai campaign and then maybe a little bit Gore Rock. Maybe a little bit Marcus as well. We've got some scaven to kill. Uh, we won't do this battle because it's a little bit easy. So here we go. So we're taking the settlement. We can give it to Kitsu, Saholanka, or its One focuses mainly on Saurus and can unlock protection of Kitsu army ability. Temporarily grants invulnerability. Wowzers. Focuses mainly on winds of magic and magic using characters and unlocks storms of Halabanka armor ability, creates powerful whirlwinds. Focuses mainly on crop scores and blessed beasts and can summon beasts of its army ability. Summons Razordons. So I think invulnerability sounds cool. Let's just be invincible. Completed a mission. We'll try and keep this moving quickly so I'm not going to read every little thing that comes along. So we've given this now to the defenders of the Great Plan. We shall keep moving. We've obviously got my horde buildings going on. We can put this up. Let's move a little bit. And then upgrade our horde to level 2. Be able to get some Saurus warriors and things. We've got a hero here as well. That'd be useful. Go and check who's ahead. So I guess we'll come through, take a couple of these places, see who's around. Search available. Ward growth, we'll take that. And assign skill point. Let me know anything you want to see, people. Because I'm just going to be playing this, going through it. But if you want to see something specific, let me know. <laughs> talks like a scaly hulk. Okay, nice and quick. Keep moving through. Big lad. Big lad on a Kai. Uh, okay, where should we go? North or south? Should we go this way or this way? You people decide. Up or down? Where do you want me to go? Limits, can I recruit anything? Only regular Saurus, we'll wait. I think I should be able to do I've got the money, I can get that. <coughs> you wonder, uh, wonder if we'll see more of this campaign? <laughs> probably not. But you'll probably get it sooner. Can a guy go into raid mode since usual lizards don't have that mode? We'll have a look. I go into raid. Astronomy and camp and ambush. So no. No raiding for Nakai. He's not that kind of horde, man. <clears throat> it's killer croc. North, north, south, south, north, north, north. Okay, I think north one will go north. Follow the yellow brick road. Got the money to upgrade now, let's do that. We'll upgrade this so we can get some Saurus with shields. Where's my spy geek? Let me have a look over here before we rush over there. Gotta be very careful when playing as hordes, of course, because it's very easy to get wiped out if you're not. <clears throat> Turn my light on in here, it's goddamn dark.
Good evening from Scotland, Bert. Am I called Bert now? Okay, so we ser search this, see if it's a Skaven ruin. It is not. Oh, we got a puzzle. Oh, these puzzles. I really can't be asked. Somebody want to try and figure it out? I need the toilet. I'll tell you what. Read this, you guys figure it out. I'll be back. What have you got for me? What have you fellas got for me? Hopefully you've all figured it out. <clears throat> this is the easiest one. It's the third one. The third option. I don't understand them. The blue one. Read this. The third one. Okay, you reckon it's the blue one, do you? You reckon it's the blue one? Oh, right, you are. Well done, fellas. <clears throat> Save me a job, eh? That's what chat is for. Okay, so nothing there but a puzzle. Safe to move in. Got our Saurus upgrade now. Go and take this. God damn skin gets out of the way. I don't know if he's in the way. Oh, I'm in the thing. Take this place for the great plan. We've got a little run. What did we do it for this one last time? Gives us horde growth. The old one's favour. Another one for that. Hello, there's some orcs up here. Them dirty orcs. Okay, let's recruit some... How much money have we got? A thousand. Get a Saurus shield. Saurus shield, one Saurus spear. That'll do, that'll do. I have good red talents. We'll check that out in a second. Let's get harmonic convergence. Okay, the Kai skill tree. Those red abilities. I think people were hoping for Nakai to be like a, a Croxagor version of Throg, and he'd give Croxagor buffs. The proud warrior that gives melee attacks to Saurus warriors. Skirmisher, which is a bit weird for him to have. You'd think he can increase Skink, Salamander, and Razorom damage. Speed for pterodons and ripodactyls. Melee attack for Croxagore, Sacred Croxagore, and Temple Guard. That's more like it. Melee attack for Feral Carnosaurs and Dread Saurians. Weapon strength. That's mostly damage. Not as much for Croxagores as one might hope. Causes a discouraged effect, reducing enemy leadership. That's pretty cool. Old blooded reflexes. And it causes terror. We'll give him terror. Ability, frenzy, or Croxagores. That's pretty cool. So there's a Croxagore based ability. Sacred Wanderer makes him unbreakable. Quest for the Ocon Shard. Untainted. Give him some ward save. So yeah, some uh, cool stuff there. 
Okay, let's advance. Um, let's see what other places are in this province. There's an empty place over there. There are some orcs nearby that aren't too friendly with us. Give devotion to Old One Gods. Does it reduce the others like Norskung? I'm not sure. Right. Oh, whoa, we got all this. Okay. <laughs> Didn't even know. Uh, okay, so I guess once I've done maybe four settlements, I can crack this. Gives plus 15 leadership when under siege, siege holdout time, blah, blah, blah. Or a Scar Veteran, or is that the first one? I do that now? But I need something. You do not have the necessary amount of Old One's favour. Okay, I need more Old One's favour. Also do. This one, Tribute for Vassals. Will be the, the one we're getting all the buildings for. Blessed Temple Guard. Gain complete visibility over all your Vassal territory. Okay, interesting. Uh, okay, what else is in this place? I like to try and take provinces, and in this province it does include this place, Greenskin Place. Let's go and scout that out. Maybe we should go after the Greenskin so we can have a fight. Go and have a fucking fight. Okay, that thing's going. How much money we got? 602. We need more units, really. Move up that way, though. Let's move up this way a little bit. Get <clears throat> one more Saurus. Make that our little army for now. Yeah, that's true. Throg could have done better if he had his ability. Uh, the guy could have done better if he used his abilities against Throg. Ward growth research. Let's see if there's an army at this place. There is, but it's only small. Oh, hello. I can't. Oh, hello. Uh, Hunts marshals, boy. Want to kill some of those? We get points for those. Well, you know, we get good things for those. We only we can only field a small army right now. We'll move up. We'll try and take out these orcs while their army is non-existent. We can sabotage, kill their technology. Block the army. No point. Okay, we'll do that. Research. Casualty replenishment. Weapon strength. Uh, or recruitment. I think replenishment is probably more important for a horde, so we'll get there. Have I shown Gotrick and Felix? No, I'm not supposed to have, apparently. I put them in that video, but I wasn't allowed to show them. <laughs> but for some reason, I'm the only person that has, has access to them. For some reason. And CA don't even know why. A CA guy messaged me and was like, Uh, how do you have access to Gotrick and Felix? I was like, I don't fucking know. So, uh, yeah. Oh, shit. They got a big-ass stack. Okay, our plans just changed. Um, I certainly... well, it depends what it is. Is it goblins? Oh, it's savage orcs. Oh dear. Okay, I don't think we're going to beat a savage orc army with this small army, so maybe we'll come back to this. We'll come back to those big boys, unless we can go for the other little... We don't need that. Yeah, we'll come to this place, this part of it as well. Go the other way. Back we go. There's my thingy. Come back. Well, so yeah, you get more. You've got more information than you should have in my video that I put up earlier. So uh, make use of that for now. What is the name of the video we got? Chicken Felix. It's the last one that went up today. New lizards, uh, new, not new lizards, new empire units, and blah blah blah. Whichever my latest video is. Yeah, let's keep moving down. Why oh, I didn't bring him down as well? 
Anyway, whoa, hello. Another Empire army. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Feel like we may have advanced a bit too far here. Right? We may be in a spot of bother, I forgot about that. I thought that was abandoned like the other ones. I thought it was just an abandoned place or a small scaving place. I may have put myself in it right here. Oh, oh, he's not coming after me. His army's got a lot smaller for some reason. Mustering though, so we'll get him while he's got a small army. I don't know why his army is like half now. Weird. Bit into two armies or something. Why? Mm. Oh, miles away. I feel like I'm going to be ambushed. I feel like some fishy's going on here. I can't quite reach this dude. Edge up. Edge up slowly. As close as we can. We'll sniff him just to scare him. Then camp in our little temple house. Come on, What does someone want to see? The rights. There's the rights. Have a little look while I read the chat. Mm. We'll see. They make changes to Razorons. They already did. They've got way more damage than they did before. The other day in my video I said, Oh, they're not very good. They don't do a lot. They had like 62 armor-piercing missile damage. Now they have like 97. So they got some missile damage. Definitely makes them far more effective than they were. What are the best lizard skirmisher units for quick play? I guess chameleon skinks are the big choice for most people. Why didn't you show the new Paladin or Waywatcher? Is there? I don't even think there was. Oh, no, the, um, yeah, I know which ones you mean. The campaign ones, they're not in the actual custom battles or multiplayer. They're only in the campaign. <clears throat> I thought you meant the Wood Elves got one or something, but no, the Empire did get one. But only in campaign, along with a billion other cool units that are only in campaign. My accent is fucking English, mate. Or is it Scottish? I don't know, you bastard. Anyway, that's enough of the rights. Um, okay, let's see what happens. Rainy is just our season, you bastard. I'm gonna do the rest of this stream as Chainsaw Gav. Okay, this army's dead. Um, they've mustered, but they Never. don't actually recruit anything, so, you know. Good work mustering there, boys. Let's kill some empire. Please don't escape me. Oh, why can't I move very far? Why do they move so goddamn far? Fine, I'll take the settlement instead. I want to fight something, but these battles are pointless. Um, did I capture it for a different one to see if it takes stuff away from others? I don't think it will. Got a right unlocked. No, that one's still got two. So yeah, you can do different ones and it doesn't matter. Fill up what you like. I'm going to get some predatory power for Nakai. Okay, let's see if we can have a fight and then maybe we'll do a bit of the Gorok campaign. Mix it round a little bit. Gifts? Uh, no. No, you're right, actually. You can uh, fuck off. <laughs> that was a good Scotsman accent. Thank you. I do them better. I'm trying to. Th I'm thinking about it, so I'm not doing it very well. I definitely feel like I do a Scottish accent better when I'm just not thinking about it. I do random accents all the time. That's why I know I can never tell what nationality I am. Start putting stupid accents on all the time. Right, I think I'm gonna get ambushed, but I'm okay with it. See who's down here, shall we? Let's see who's over here. Finish. Get to that. Can I afford any more units yet? I can make a new building. 
hero capacity untainted minus upkeep for all units that was nice this for skinks be a while before you can make croxical make him in these fancy buildings be level three do that expansion get the global recruitment so we can recruit more units per turn that would be useful can the Kai confederate I believe yes he can originally he couldn't but then now he can <clears throat> not sure yet Hades we did try him out against Throg where he got a bit of a beat down but Throg does have regeneration and obviously, Rock's a freaking tank. Where we go? Alright, let's try and fight these Empire boys. Come out of, uh... For now. Keep replenishing. Get another unit of Saurus... Warriors, I think. Keep going, keep going. We'll try and take out some of these Empire boys so we can have a little fight. Is he going to be a fringe lord or a mainstream contender? I don't know, because the Lizardmen have got so many lords now. You're getting Gorok, you're getting the Life Slan. I think the Life Slan is going to be used quite a lot in multiplayer. Um, so, we'll see. Oh shit, I've been ambushed by Skaven. This could be the end of the campaign right here. Which is good because I was about ready to end it and do another one anyway. <clears throat> Let's find out how much we're getting ambushed by. I'm gonna guess it's quite a lot. Oh, rats. I don't know how we got ambushed in a big open desert. The car needs to open his fucking eyes. Alright, they're coming, they're gonna guess. We get it. Oh, there they are. Oh, there's a lot of rats. Form up, lads. Form up, quick time. Is there any... There any oh, there is a little bit of rat ogres. There is a little bit of rat ogres. That was great English. Let's see how many rats Nakai can kill all by his freaking self. We've got some skirmishers. We've got fox scores on this side. Nakai. Oh, he does have that ability that gives physical resistance. Okay, we're going to team him up with his crocs scores. Okay, we just need to take out the rat ogres. Falling shit up on us, brilliant. Good one, fellas. These dirty rats. Okay, get up, lads. Maybe a few too many proc scores for one unit of rats, but. Gonna boost the melee attack and damage resistance of all my crocos. And they're gonna smash wretch retreat. Smash wretch, beautiful retreat. We need to get rid of these rat ogres. They've broken one of my spear units in like two seconds. So these rats are doing me a mischief. Big clump there. I really need to get into these big clumps of rats. Okay, let's try and get after their skirmishers. I think we need to spread out our croc scores a bit. Get more damage going. Come on, Nakai. Tell you what, these rats are holding up against croc scores. They are upgraded, actually. Get some flanking on this slash. Get Nakai over here. Starting to break him on this side now. Take the boys here. Random wind spell coming in. Took out his own units. Nice one. There he goes, doing his little skip. He <laughs> just fucking destroyed everyone there. Just made a massive gap. I don't know how these clan rats over here are holding so well. A bit crazy. Don't you route on me. Come back now. They're like, giving up on us. Where's our other ones? Have they routed off? They die? 
Who knew clan rats were so tough now, eh? Their lord. Race here. Look how I could smash a great dude. I'd love to move these crocsicles. Oh, these are only normal crocs. They're not that great. We're breaking them though. The Kai's just destroying everything over here. He's just going nuts. Oh, he's fallen over. Yeah, mate. Shake it off, shake it off. And kill someone. There we go. Punch him in the face. Yeah, we're breaking them. Good. Okay, we're starting to break these. Breaking these ones. Let's get into this clump. Set up a nice charge. Face them off. Bad enough of them. Take the boyos. Pop our ability, which is now ready as well again. Alright, just charging. It's not really much of a charge, but damn it. Okay, ability. Can you please get the proxicals? It didn't. God damn it. Oh, there we go. Did it get them? I don't think it did. They've got blessed with filth now, though. Are the Crocs scores supposed to be over here? These saw us holding on well over here. There's those spears. Rattoga's still in the game. Breaking that grace here. Go on, Nakai. Nakai's barely taking any damage. He is tanking out rats like there's no tomorrow. Here comes the old Crocos. Look how small a Rattoga looks compared to a Crocsicle. Come on, kill the Lord, kill the Lord. The rats from the boys breaking over there. Come on, Saurus. Why my Saurus so wimpy? I need the Kai to kill their Lord. That leadership penalty would help us a lot. There we go. Bash him out of the crowd and go and finish him off. He did so much damage on that hit. Go on, my lad. Go and smash him. Stop getting stuck. Walk through them. Look how small they are. Look how big you are. There we go. That's it. Oh, that was horrible. Kill him. No, nearly. Oh no, he's got 700 health. Finish him. Stop dancing around. Kill the rat. I'm a rat. I was doing. Getting fired. What happened to my skinks? Oh, they got crowded. Of course they did. There we go. Get after these. Kill the lord. We didn't kill him just yet. Face off these goddamn skirmishes. Faster than them. They got 37 speed, we got 46. Goodbye. Dirty scave and slave slingers. Right, the Lord's probably going to come back. Oh, he has come back. Finish off the Lord. Finish off this damn dirty rat. He does this little skip, bonks him on the head, and off he goes. Oh, he's dead. Nearly. Knocked him down. 258 health. Sponk. Down. Oh. Head came off. There is the remains of his little rat head. There's one dead rat. Guy, <laughs> not messing around. He hasn't even taken much damage. He's been in melee for about five minutes. Look at these rats. What are they going to do? Nothing. Right. That's the end of those boys. Lovely, jubbly. Well, that's the battle we wanted. Those are sacred crocs of gores, 200 rats, nearly 300 rats actually. I only killed 90 though. We would have done more, I guess he was going after the Lord a lot. Got ambushed, but we survived. Need replenishment. I guess they came from this place. Uh, whatever. Um. Okay. What do we do? Do we do a different campaign now? Do you want to see a bit of a different campaign? Do you want to see anything else tested? Try Wolfheart. Should we try Gorok? What do you reckon? We could do some custom battles with actual armies instead of just testing. 
What do you reckon? What do you reckon, my lads? Alright, campaign, Empire rework, I'm not allowed to do, can't do that, yep. The Empire reworks. Do Gorok, or I can do Wolfheart. Gorok, Gorok, Gorok. The Gorok coming. I want to see that croak or Rock combo. Oh yeah, let's so start with Lord Croak. Let's do some Croaky then. Uh, or Rocky. Do I the Vortex again? I am Tyrion, heir of Anarian. No. Bullrock, easy start challenge. Starts campaign with Lord Croak. <laughs> Unbreakable and defense bonus for Saurus. Minus 20 upkeep for Saurus unit. 5 melee defense. Own friendly territory. Physical resistance and defending is. Cool. Let you watch the cinematics yourselves. No, keep pushing. Go some Gorok. We'll just do a little bit of this and then I'll probably get off. Starting to get a little late. Can you show both the out start position yet? I think they have. I think CA have shown it. Not sure. Uh, okay, Itza. Defenders of Itza. Itza stands out like a lightning rod in a world of darkness, forging a bond of measurable strength between Gorok and the venerable Lord Rope. Ender of Itza. Great White Lizard may perform the rites of resilience to protect its most ancient cities and so is popular. So calling upon the first of my mage priest to fight alongside him in the campaign. Geometric web, bless spawnings. Base settlement. We'll take out some rats to start with. We got old Croaky. He's his own army? Be a lord? Can't have him in our, our hero? Who knew? Who knew? Red Master Croak slumbers in it, so with enemies. I'm not sure if Croak's with us the whole time or if we're just a little bit. We got some scaven to slap. Well, this is a reasonable army. We'll fight this. We'll have a little fight with Gorok. See what he can do. You can't show the Empire stuff. So you can only show Wolfheart. <clears throat> not allowed to show the rework. I win more since running through all your vids. I'm glad, man. Glad they're useful. Hey, where's our reinforcements? Where's Croaky coming from? We don't start with him, do we? Is Croak reinforcing? I didn't actually check. He might be in trouble if he's not. I don't think he is, because his arrow's not up, but he's right next to it. Assumed he was. Oh well. He'll be fine. Only a few dirty rats. Okay, this isn't as fun. I wanted to use Lord Croak, but oh well. Do what Cool Rock can do. What was it? Summon Skeet Priest. That thing. Freaking thing now. Summon a Skeet Priest. Ooh. Never played the Lizardmen campaign, so I never really know what they can do. Hammer at Spears. Javelins on those. Land rats. Regular. Okay. We've got a skirmish. Right, just spawn me up. A priest. Here he is. Got a little bit of magic now. Comet of Cassandra. Cassandra. Cool. Comet of Cassandra. Why not? Good eye. Come, skink priest. Reading the physical distance. For them. They're gonna need it now. See if Gorok can kill some Skaven slaves. My little priest. Drop a bombardment on you. And a breath attack on. Oh. 
to do a lot. Should have gone a bit wider. Bullrock's in the thick of it. He's in the thick of these dirty Skaven. There are any uh, Skaven slaves though, so not really a worry. Skaven slave slingers, but not to worry about them. Bring up these skinks to try and chase them off. Flank these rats. Let Gorok handle this lot. He is just killing Skaven slaves like there's no tomorrow. Oh. Dear. One dead rat. Twitching. <laughs> Poor little fella. He's just twonking rats in the face. Oh, my skink's going down. Oh, I've run out. I think I've got another one. I don't know if these are chargeable. i got rechargeable skinks here. Why have you stopped? I did not tell you to stop. Oh, you're on skirmish. That's what again. Get him, Lutz. Wipe out those Skaven slaves a treat. They're going bye bye. Lord over there taking a hammer in. I think Croak's a hero. I thought he was, but for some reason I thought he was an army. I think it's because other things focus. Uh, other things. Other heroes in custom battles are sometimes lords in the campaign. Well, I was trying to say. Yeah, Bob. Let's get all this stuff. Oh, someone wants to do this. Fast forward this. Ding, 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 ding. Go. Oh, never mind these. Four rocks scare everything off. There we go. I thought it was his own army. So I guess we'll go and take this place. Broken the army now. We can do training or replenishment. Definitely need the replenishment right now. What else can we do? Now. Do you actually have a place? So Let's upgrade this. Build. Build here. A landmark. What does this give us? Medicinal plant. Leadership against... Certain stuff. There's a gold mine. Happy, happy days. Got that then, really? Money in the bank. Root Marcher, let's take a look at some Gorok skills. Firing Presence. Melee attack for Saurus Warriors, Skirmishers, Swift Riders. This is pretty much the same as the Kai. about all this stuff. Resistance, bigger, melee defense, resistance for Saurus units. Cool. Terror. Even passive regeneration. That'll turn them into a tank. Cool stuff. But difficult to be playing, very hard. Finish that army off this time. Replenish. Towards taking that. Next one. Heal point. Give it to him. We'll make him a tank.
The NDA is lifted for most things except the Empire rework. You would not have said that you can play the rework. He shouldn't have done it anyway. Be sure he knows. Okay. Ah. Fine. I don't want to blow things up with Crow, but we'll wait. Oh man, I lost some Saurus in that. Really? What a load of shit. That's why I shouldn't order it. We'll occupy. Now, Clan Fester. Got ourselves a mission success. Right. Taking control of two provinces. One, well, this is a big province. So take the ticks. Chakwa. Okay. That is what you wish. Want to recruit better source. Wait for those to upgrade. And we want to make him into a tank, so we'll give him some armor. Ooh. Big old croaky's got points. We'll put it into his magic, of course. What else? Right. Experience, unit ranks, come, plan mage priest, early defense for source and temple guard, unbreakable, army ability, feral, summons, unit of feral cold one. Greetings for Poland, welcome my friend. Take care Bert, see you later buddy. You think... Gorok or Nakai would win in a head to head. Question. I feel like Nakai might do it just because he'll knock Gorok around everywhere. Maybe not. Maybe we'll try that before we finish. Uh, okay, let's start to move towards some of these other places. We should recruit a few more units, actually. Let's say one more turn. Oh. Tablets. Diamantic web. <clears throat> oh, here's the big man. Bigger the devil. It's Nakai himself. Full army. He's on our side. Okay, can I build these? Yeah. Oh, this. That, how many turns is that? Two turns. We can wait. Public order, which we need right now, so that. Less units yet. Marcus is wearing a lot of clothes, considering that he's in a hot jungle area. Got a big old furry hat on. His head must be sweaty as. Will I play all new lords on stream today? No, this is the last one. I've done Nikai already. And I'm doing some Gorok. But, uh, getting late, so I'm going to finish after this. A little bit of this. And then maybe I'll do some Wolfheart. I'm going to do... I'm a good way through a Balthazar Gelt campaign. And I'll be able to show you that on Monday. I will probably do a stream on Monday with my about 100 turns in. Belthazar Gout campaign. That's been pretty fun. Okay, I need one more turn, I think. Recruit some Saurus. And then go and smash these two places. Great up. Lord not moved. Lord have I got. Purple Croak out. The Kai is just out there. Hey, Lord not moved. Oh, look. I think it said Hero not moved. Dummy. Being a dumb You're so excited for this DLC. Pretty good so far. My only disappointment is that there isn't more more fun units for the Empire. Like some infantry. Considering all the units they put in campaign. And things like the the, the Death Jack unit, which is the Regiment of Renowned Archer. Like really? Of all the cool units that you put into the campaign, like the Karaburg Great Swords and the Emperor's Wrath Steam Tank, you gave us Death Jacks. A regiment of renowned version of the Archer. Sigh. Sigh indeed. Right, we get three of those and then we are good. 
freaking go. Something else. Um, gross. Put the income stuff in smaller place. Let's upgrade this. This is a money maker. Oh, I love lizards. Not a huge fan of lizards. I do like the idea of a horde. More horde campaigns, though. But in Akai, I might give a bit more of a go. I'm waiting for a greenskins horde. I want. Success. <sighs> okay, we got our Saurus. Let's get smashing. Aqua, we're coming for you. Upgrade this place. Research. Recruitment. Melee defense. Saurus. Nice traveling around. It's is actually pretty bad in the public order. I need that public order. Did I build it? Why is it so bad? The corruption. We've got a lot of Skaven corruption. Damn dirty wreck. I'll have to take this and hang around. Okay, more points for Broke. Get his other spell. Thank you. Thank you. I've moved further then. I think that was my uh, force march that came up, maybe. <clears throat> I think horse lives the top of you. Oh, not horse. Whoa, ha, oh, not another Skaven ambush. Bastards are everywhere. Fire damage. Guess we'll give that to Saurus. Not damn Skaven ambushes, man. <clears throat> Picky bastards. I'm not sure Gorok is going to hold off as well as Nakai did. There was a note about steam tanks, so the texture's really fixed. I don't know what was wrong with them. We can have a look. Got Lord Croak, mate. You don't want to ambush us. Look at him. Look how croaky he is. Still dead and shit. He's ready for action. Okay, where are they coming? They're coming from miles away. Not much of an ambush. Maybe we just can't see him yet. Saurus. Right. Form up the Saurus. Jock on. Jock on. Form it up, lads. What have we got then? Game slaves, clan rats. Clan rats, clan rats. A bunch of stuff behind us, something's just spawned up on us. So annoying. Oh, broke saw, man. Now they're dropping all kinds of spells on us. I think they mostly hit their own rats there, so that's good. Oh, there's rats coming out the woodwork. Rats coming out the woodwork. Broker, you'll defend the left side. All rocks got the front. There is a lot of scaven slaves coming, though. Lord of Duty Ritz, Cameron. And wide. Get in there, go rock. Brokey. Time to get explosive, my friend. Can't really see where they are. I don't even know if this is clad. Oh no, they are clamor okay. Don't want to waste it on Skaven slaves. Gotta watch this. We'll enjoy these. Bonk. Exploding rats. Right, get in there as well. Might as well. We should go in there. Choose another one of those. Right here. What does he have? Damage resistant. Four rocks getting in there. Another one of these coming off. Point. That just wiped out two units. Bloody wonderful. Good old croaky, eh? Good old Croak Master Flex. We're routing them all anyway. Do it here, I guess. Was 
dead rats. Real dead. We got another one. All right. Oh, they're all wrapping away. All right, Croc, come over here. Oh, look at this. Look at this little pile. Can he do it from there? Damn, he's got some range. Croc has got the skills, man. Like a hundred meters away. And he's still blowing rats up. Croc's struggling to keep up. Croc's over there. Let's go and get this Lord. And my Saurus has run off. I've been too busy watching spells. <coughs> Getting tied up by some damn rats. Get that lord dead, really. Hurry this up, shall we? Yeah, mom. Let's break the bastard. A Gorok fighting their lord. Here we go. Knock him out, lad. Only a warlock master. They're wrapping away some of my boys. I think they'll take Gorok out there. We got him. Let's give an ambush. I guess that army was defending where we're about to take anyway. Taking a bit of damage though, so we may need to uh, replenish before we attack. Big army. Whether to besiege. Oh, I don't have a do I? Oh. Go and have a look, Croak. What do they got? Oh my god, they're escaping here. Who knew? Got seven units. Look, like we could take them. Croak to replenish now. Quite get closer. Aisa. Maybe we should attack. Well, there is a big army there, actually. That's the army we just fought. I thought that was the one over there. Apparently, there's a reasonable chance we can do it. Mask of inferiority squirted. I think we're doing it. Get a bit further away, though. We'll go and replenish first. Come back with more boys. We got lots of money, so we can bring way more Saurus than this. Broke even more powerful. Welcome, Aquatic. Everything Croak does nuts. Is this game PC only? It is a fr It is yes. It is. I'm afraid. What I was trying to say. Gaven armies warming up. Born Saurus warriors. Oh, what? Saurus Scar veteran. Get the veteran, because we can get the Saurus warriors ourselves. Could use a veteran. Where is he? Is? Yes. Get him in. We'll replenish. We'll get some more Saurus. Or we'll be brutal. Spears and Saurus. Saurus. We need some more units though. We need to get better buildings. Rock radar buildings. Get me skink. Red crested. That, I suppose we can use red crested skinks right now. Bring old 
Croco back. Punishment going. Blacks. All fucking blacks. You choose every round? No, you only choose it when you put him in the army. I took Croak out of the army, and then when I tried to put him back in, it asked me if I wanted to do training or replenish. So it's only when you move Croak about. I guess you can change it over. Just replenish, and then you could change it out. For training, which would be more useful. Sure, more Saurus Warriors are spawned. I like Saurus. Okay, let's get the veteran. We'll give some training. One more turn, maybe some more sort. Oh, skink snap, that was quick. Uh, let's get some cohort. Be able to chase those javelins off. Of course, chase the here. Uh, Jamishes off. Do I play mods? I do not. Never really touch mods. Mostly because most of my videos revolve around the vanilla version of the game, so if I start messing with mods, then I start only appealing to certain, you know, people that play those mods. So I tend to just stick to vanilla. Otherwise I'd have to start making separate mod videos, because obviously everything I say about how a certain faction plays might be different in an overhaul mod or something. I'd have to relearn the whole game in it. More than I care to do now. Okay. Let's go kill some rats. Let's go kill some fucking rats. They ambush me again, I'm gonna be pissed. Right, we go. Nothing greatly useful right now. Okay, I just wanna take this province, and then I'll probably jump off. Hopefully we can get that done in time. Nuts and sass and slap and derp from Sweden. Welcome, tropical community. Welcome. When does this DLC come out? I think it's the 11th of this month. Uh, next week, is that? Early next week. Rebellion. Oh shit, I forgot about my uh, public order. Whoopsie! I've got the public order building here. Yeah, I'll build one here as well. Gonna be a bit late, but take Chakwa for now. Oh, look at this. Okay, this is a good way to finish the stream. There's a lot of clan rats actually. I don't know if we can do this. There's a lot of clan rat spears. They give me a good chance. If they group up and bunch up like dum dums, then Croak is just gonna end them all. But they don't. Might be in trouble. Best unit from faction video. Might do. Might do. You believe in me? Thanks. Gonna need it. I'm gonna make. I can use this uh, bit of uh, ruin here. Unless they advance on. Skinkeries. Rock in the thick of it, Scarus Veteran, Croak in the middle, Gavin's on the edge. Let's do this crazy thing. Rather they don't come after me. But I'm pretty sure they're gonna. We'll be able to use that piece of ruin. This is a horrible map though. Can't really see a lot. I feel like I'll be able to play it better like this. Bloody miss! Javelin's going. Want some skinks on us? Out. Want some skinks on us? That'd be interesting. Kind of want them to attack us and all. Oh. Oh. Oh, come on, Croaky. Do it in time. Come on. You could do it. Please do it. He's gonna do it. Oh fucking hell. The AI is so stupid. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, that just pretty much ended about five units. Do another one. Can we do another one. Let's see if we can get another one here. Oh, I think they might move away. They might wise up. Oh no, we're going to get a few. Boink. There's a lot of blood and dead rats everywhere. Oh, Croak, you are lovely. You're a good lad, aren't you, Croak? I need my skinks over this side. These fast things. Where the hell have these come from? Pulling them up on us. Right, let's flank these round. Let's pull all these back. Croak in there. Let's get Brock in there. Let's get the Scar Veteran in there. There's a Lord. Let's get him after that. Broke, there's more opportunities for you to blow things up with. What does this one do? No idea, here it goes. Oh, he's going to blow himself up. The suicide bomber. Oh! Ridiculous. Ridiculous. I don't know why I thought I had any chance of losing this. I've got Lord Croak. Destroyer of all men. And everything else. Brooks all out of magic now, though. Gotta wait for Brooks' magic to come back. Which level you'll play? Any difficulty? We are breaking rats like there's no tomorrow. AI is a dum dum. Bit of a sort of contingent to take care of over here. Get any uh, magic and punishment, we will deal with them. Let's send Croak over there actually. War Croaky. Taking a bit of damage. My scorers and scarus veteran got beaten up. How the hell did that happen? Tough as their enemy lord. We have warlock master. Gorok sort him out. Do on everything. Yes. Come on, mate. I told you to come and beat this guy up about five times. But you're just ignoring orders, you doofus. Saw a support over here. Oh, what's going on over here? Skirmishes. Looks taking a bit of a pounding. Oh, he's got a spell though. Got a spell. And these two units. Maybe this third one as well. Damn it. There's a Warlock Engineer in here too. E. Warlock kicking the crap out of the Warlock Master. Got him. He's got him. We got him. Down they go. Yeah, this is very hard difficult. Legendary is a bit too cheaty for my taste. There we go. We've killed a lot of Skaven. Mostly Lord Croak. He's got <laughs> How many kills did he get? He's got one dot 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 dot. Does that mean he got over a thousand kills? Surely not. Does that mean he got 1,000 something kills? I've never seen that before. Mostly because no units get 1,000 kills. <laughs> there were a lot of rats. 3,000 rats. It wouldn't be surprising if Lord Croak killed a third of them. Oh yeah, look. 1-1. One, one. There must be two more numbers on the end of that. I want to know how many it was. I don't know why it just doesn't just say the numbers. Have them overlap a little bit. No biggie. 
That might s just save us from rebellion. Oh no, it won't. <laughs> Still gonna get rebellion. But it's all good. Cool. I'll quick save that. And we'll leave it there. <clears throat> yeah, like 9.22. Oh, okay. I didn't even notice. Scheiße. So there we go. We tested a lot of new units. We played a little bit of Nakai campaign and a little bit of Gorok campaign. I hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. The stream will go up in a couple of hours. It takes a while for the video to process because it's been a long stream. It'll probably take a couple of hours. But if you do try to watch it, don't be surprised if it looks a bit weird and it doesn't quite look right yet. Um, although the link will only be on the Discord, but I'll put it up public when it's ready in a couple of hours. Thanks, Quatic. Glad you enjoyed it. Maybe someone should count them all on the gameplay. So yeah, there we go. If you want to see all the testing stuff we did earlier, then you can check out the stream in a couple of hours. Watch all that if you wish. If not, you want to just check out the units, you can check out my video that came out today. Um, on Monday, I'll stream some Gelt campaign from the rework. About 100 turns in, as I mentioned. And hopefully maybe some battles. Maybe I can get Ninja Hunt together and play some battles with the actual units rather than just against the goddamn AI. But there we go. Thanks for watching people. Hope you've enjoyed this. You in the future.